Oh, hey. hey, how you guys doing out there? Nice to see you. Well, I can't really see you, but I know you're there watching. Cheers and 17. I'm just enjoying the bottom half of a Cooper's English Bitter, which is not a bad beer at all. Not too bad at all. But drinking this beer um, brought me back a memory of a few years ago when I brewed an, a, a porter. Um, and it was, it was supposed to be an experiment, and I'll put a link to this down below in the description, this video that was shot in 2012. Um, and it was a idea that I had to make a um, porter out of a Cooper's, Cooper's English Bitter. So what a Cooper's English Bitter is, it's basically, it's a, it's a pre-hopped extract. So, you know, it's like, you know, lots of people do extract brewing. And this is even going a, a little step further into the easy department, which I like, uh, because you don't have to do a big long boil because the bittering part of the hops has already been added to the malt extract, the liquid malt extract that comes in the can. So you don't have to do that part. All you have to do is add some stuff to it. And uh, I looked at my recipe and I didn't have everything exact, but I do have, excuse me, some grains here that I've already ground up. As you can see, I've got my thing out here. And this is about, I'd say it's about 500 grams of Crystal 80. I know, people are gonna say, whoa, that's a lot. It's gonna be a sticky beer. Yeah, it probably will be. But the grains are a bit old, so I figured I'd throw, throw a few extra in just in case. So um, 500 grams of Crystal 80, and there's about uh, 230 grams of chocolate or roasted uh, malt. A dark roasted malt and I threw in about 200 grams of crystal 10. Was it crystal 10 or was it carapils? Geez I don't remember. Oh no, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm just using up some old grains I've got lying around and I've got a pot of water here that's uh, heated up to 160 degrees, 165 and so I'm going to submerge these guys in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I know what's happening inside of there now. Flavors are coming out. Let's get my spoon here. And I'm just gonna poke this. This is not necessarily a homebrew video. I'm just, I'm just gonna talk to you guys for about a few things and we're gonna just let this steep. Um, I don't want it to fall in if I can help it. So we'll just put that through there if we can, but whatever. There, well, I got a couple gallons of water here. Mm, I can already smell it. So we've got that and uh, we've also got um, about 1.5 ounces of, uh, oh boy, <laughs> of uh, Cascade uh, dried leaf hops that I've been keeping in the freezer, which I should get used up soon. So we're gonna, we're gonna wait for this. <laughs> Don't you love it when what am I going to do? Okay, that, that's it there. That happens. Things happen when you're shooting video. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for this to um, steep for, well, as long as it takes me to make this video, 20 minutes, whatever, half an hour. And then I'm going to take that out and I'm going to bring this to a boil and I'm going to boil these for 10 minutes, these hops. Right? And then I'm going to add, whoops, before I boil them for 10 minutes, I'm a klutz today, that's okay. Um, before I boil these, I'm going to add um, one kilogram of dry malt extract. So after I remove this bag, one kilogram dry malt extract, bring it to a boil and then add the hops and do a, a 10 minute boil with these hops and just to give us a little top end hop aroma for this beer. And probably I'll add a little bit of dextrose, just 300 grams, just to give it a little extra alcohol. Um, so that'll all boil. And then after that, we'll remove all the stuff and we'll put the can of Cooper's English bitter in with that top it up to five gallons, which is 20 liters, 19 liters in Canada. And we're good to go with a nice porter. It's gonna be a porter. That's what it's gonna be. And uh, I didn't write anything down. I'm just, uh, I just brew it by the seat of my pants. That's what, that's what the fun, that's what the fun is around here in this dungeon is we just, we just do stuff. We don't care. I'm doing this. If I like the recipe, uh, I'll watch this video and I'll write everything down. There's a little book somewhere, somewhere. 
I don't know. Anyways, uh, I'm going to, uh, while this is waiting, let's remove the trusty thermometer. And I have a lid around here somewhere. Yeah. There. That doesn't matter. That can sit for half an hour, an hour, doesn't matter. Just let her, let her sit there and get nice and flavorful. I have um, a beer here that I would like to try for you guys. Uh, there's a brewery here in my city called, oh, I can't remember now. So I've never heard of them before, but my, my niece, my niece, um, Erica, works at this brewery. See, we keep it in the family. Right? That's what we do. So it's called the Collective Arts Brewing. Collective Arts, Collective Arts Brewing, Hamilton, Ontario. And um, they, uh, it's collectivearts.brewing.com, and they have many different beers. And she brought this to our Christmas party that we had. She brought a bunch of them because she, uh, I mean, I guess when there's a dented can or something goes wrong, instead of throwing them out, they give them to their employees. So. Um, this is called Radio the Mothership. Ra ra Radio the Mothership. It's, it's like, okay, we're something has something really serious is happening right now. Let's get the mothership on online. This has, and I have, sorry, I have to use my my over fifty magnifier. Um, hops, Mosaic, Citra, and Simcoe. It's not going to tell you how many hops are in there. And it's uh, unfiltered, keep cold. 8.5%. Um, it's an Imperial IPA. And somewhere around somewhere in around this thing here, it says 8.5%. Yep, 8 alcohol or volume. Strong beer, it says. Is that? I think that's all the information we need. You know, this is a craft brewery, OK? There's the, there's the mothership. You hear that? That's there she comes. We see. There you go. <laughs> no, that's my furnace. It's the pump that takes the water out of the out of the uh, natural gas. Anyway, but that's with a, that, that, just pretend that's the mothership. That that was perfect timing. Thank you. Um, they put these nice. Um, you know, these are hand painted. This is shrink wrapped onto the can. This label. Okay. None of this silk screen stuff, right? And this is a, this is you know it's it's painted it's hand painted, so you know you've got a lot of um, thought going into this, right? And there's the title, and there's all the information. So yeah, so and there's so, uh, different cans have different um, paintings on them, and I forget what Eric has said about uh, whether these were volunteers or somebody I don't know. Anyway, these are hand painted cans. I mean you know. I mean, you know, not every single can is painted separately. They, they obviously print the things out, but you know what I mean. Okay, let's get a glass. We're going to be double fisted because I'm not going to, I'm not going to chug that while we're getting this ready. A nice big glass here. Let's see what we've got. It is, I, I have tasted this before and it is an IPA. Okay. It's a strong IPA. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I gotta take it easy on this. I've got work to do tonight after this, so I gotta take it easy on this. But we'll we'll give this a pour. Thanks, Eric. Huh? I've got great nieces and nephews in my family. Well, you gotta make sure you massage the thing before you, you know, get too into this. And. Um, that is an old habit of mine, and it's gotten noticed, so I'm just making fun of it now. Oh, look at that. For Pete's sakes. Now, the first time I tried this beer, we were at a Christmas party, and we only had the solo cups, red, you know, red solo cups. So I didn't get to see the beer. I, I didn't come equipped with a beer glass on, when I went to that party. You guys, there's a light. I know there's a light. I shouldn't have that on, actually. I should turn that off, but... Um, because it probably interferes with the camera, but we'll get a we'll get a little light on this. <laughs> Look at that! Look at the balls this beer has! My goodness! Okay. 
Well, there was a lot of distractions and everything around during Christmas when we had all of our family together. And I, the, and I tasted this beer and I stood with my niece and we, we talked about what she, you know, her job at the brewery and how she loves learning about beers and she loves hoppy beers. She got used to, you know, the flavor of them. And she's, you know, she's got some knowledge about uh, how they're, you know, how they're doing this. And she works uh, in an office, but she still uh, learns how to, she's into it. She's into it. Let's give this a whirl, ladies and gentlemen. It smells, it smells of hops. It smells of hops. Let's give this a whirl. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. Mm. Oh. <sighs> wow. Call the mothership is right. Holy. Wow. This. Of course, people are going to say, oh, he's just saying that because it's his local brewery and his niece works there. No, this is actually, I would have stopped the camera and started this video over and done something else if this wasn't good. Because so I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is a, it's different than a torpedo or a bone shaker, which those two are very similar, those two beers. Um, I have to, this is an 8.5. I've got to take it easy. God. It's 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 noticeably sweet, um, you know, in the as beers go. Um, the hops are very grassy. Um, the hops in a torpedo or in a bone shaker, if you can get either of those two, please do try them. Um, they're they're more of a citrusy cit cit oh god it's already happening citrusy flavor to those. Um, this is more of a grassy, you know. And of those three hops that I mentioned, I mean, you know, uh, they've got the characteristics that they have. And some of you may know a little bit better than I do what they're supposed to be like. But other than the hops, I mean, look at look. I mean, guys, you know what? Clear beer is so overrated. Look at the, look at what's, look, you just know what that beer's got going on. So it's just unfiltered. It's got so much flavor, so much more flavor to it. Um, let's see what else I can get out of it. I'm not a beer reviewer. I'm not. I don't know how to do this. Let's see what else we have. Hmm. Oh, has a very nice mouthfeel. Um, you know, it's got that sort of, um, you know, I don't know, creamy sort of thing to it. Um, it's very nice. If you like hops, you're going to like it. If you don't like hops, well, get with the program. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you don't like hops, then you won't like a beer like this. So um, there you have it. So it's good. I'm going to set that aside, though, because, um, you know, that's a strong one. And I have work to do tonight. So anyway okay so great thanks erica okay so that's that this has still got a few minutes left let me just uh go over what else has been going on um this video is kind of you know i'm trying to you know catch you guys up a little bit on on me and just tell you what's going on with me and what what we're doing the other thing that i've been very interested in as well lately is vinyl um not flooring but uh, vinyl records and uh you know i mean Back in the day, we just called them records because that's all we had, records and tapes. So we had records and we had eight tracks and we had you know, cassettes, right? Uh, but nowadays, you've got CDs, you've got MP3s, you've got um, uh, downloads, you know, digital or uh, streaming and all that. So it's like, you, you know, you've got to kind of, now you've got to sort of specify what, you know, what a record is. What's a record? Is it a record, a digital one that you downloaded? Did you buy it from iTunes? Is it a CD or did you, is it a, a vinyl record? Well, I'm interested in vinyl because I grew up with it, got out of it for many years, and then got back into it. And it's become, it's, be, it's getting big again. Don't ask me why, but it's, it's catching up again. So um, there's lots of reasons. And if you want to hear more about this, then please head over to my channel on YouTube called Vinyl TV. Okay? Um, 
I'm fascinated with it. And I, I've been working with audio for many, many, many years. Uh, I've been recording since I could like physically press two buttons down with my little fingers uh, back in, when I was a kid. So, I mean, I'm just really, you know, fascinated with audio in general and talking about it. And I've learned a lot and I'm, I'm, I'm very excited to share the information that I've learned with, you know, with you guys, if you're interested. So please head over there and subscribe if you can and click that little bell because that way when I post a video, you'll get a alarm goes off in your house. It'll tell you that Craig Tube or Vinyl TV posted a video. <laughs> no, it'll, it'll send you an email or something like that. So yeah, that way you know when I posted something. It's this thing. Oh, oh, something's reverberating around here. Hello? I don't know. Okay, so anyway, um, that's what I've sort of been doing and I've, I've been doing a lot of thinking and concentrating on, on that. You know, um, let's, let's be honest, um, as, I, as I always try to do with you guys, and I always have, there's so many, you know, so, only so many ways I can show you how to brew beer. Um, I'm happy to come on here and talk about beer and try beers. I've been sent beers. I have some beers in the refrigerator that uh, I'd like to try here, although the person who sent them didn't want me to. They just said, no, no, just drink them. But, you know, I'd like to maybe do a review on one of them uh, all the way from Norway. Norway, a beer from three, four. He sent me four beers that he made himself from Norway. And him and his buddy, actually, uh, two, two buddies that brew over there. So, um, and, you know, I've been sort of, you know, I'm, I'm reassessing, you know, what it is that I'm going to do next on here. Um, brewing is, is something I do all the time. But, I mean, I only do it like two or three different ways, and I've shown you those ways. Um, so I don't know what else to do. And I'm being honest. I don't want you to unsubscribe to the channel because you know, you think I'm running out of ideas, I'm going to keep posting videos. It just might not be, um, and I'll redo some of the older things that I've done before. Um, as you can see over there, I've got a, a bottle of apple juice. I don't imagine you could figure out what that's going to turn into. You know, just saying, you know. And I got some recipes from a friend of mine who lives in town here. His name is Andy. And he has done some things recently that I really enjoyed too. So I'd like to try those as well. And I would certainly be happy to film those. So, you know, we're, we're rolling these out the best we can. Um, but I'm also putting a focus on my other channel, my vinyl channel, because right now that's big. And I have a lot of information that I want to share about audio and sound and, and recording and vinyl records in general. So that's kind of what I've been focusing on. It's just giving you an update, excuse me, on, uh, on what's been sort of rolling around in my head as far as YouTube goes. But believe me, I'm, I'm not leaving YouTube. That's a couple of people have said, eh, Craig's, you know, I've seen, seen comments and, you know, a couple, couple places where, oh, Craig's, he's, he's getting tired of it. He's, no, 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 not at all. Um, I'm just, um, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so if I can't like keep improving, then I kind of get like, I, I hit like a plateau where I stop and I go, okay, what am I going to do next? And I procrastinate and that's what happens. And I'm, just, I'm just giving you the, you know, the lowdown on, on yours truly. So um, I'm just forming new ideas. And today I've got this uh, thing of, of, uh, of steeped grains that I've, I've, I've had grains laying around down here for, down under the sink there for, you know, several months, and if not almost a year now, that have been sent to me by very, very kind people. And I figured, you know, I better get get going on these. Let's see. Oh, yeah. You guys can't see it, but it... Here, I'll pull this up for you. Oh, it's heavy. Ha <laughs> look at that. Look at the color of that. That's a... Uh, you can pause this video and go for a bio break now if you want, but that's there. That makes you have to. So there's a, there's that. So that's ready for me to uh, to deal with. I'll leave it in there another little while, but I'll, I'll pull that out. I'll bring that to a boil. I'll add those wonderful. I absolutely. This is a catnip. 
So that's that's what we're going to do is put these 10 minutes. We're going to add the coopers and you know obviously we're going to add the uh, dry malt extract so that something's get, these have something to boil in, and then we're going to put it all together. So uh, 19 liters of coopers. Well, we won't say coopers. We'll just say porter, a nice English porter beer. You saw the color of that, and combine that with the hops that's already in the kit, and it's going to be it's going to be good. Uh, this was this Craig Tube Porter, as it was affectionately named years ago, was brewed by many, and it's it's just a, a really easy way to make a good beer. Partial extract brewing is my favorite way of brewing beer. Okay, let's just let's just get that out in the open right now. You probably already knew that, but in case you didn't, there it is. That's my favorite method of brewing beer, and it certainly is a viable way of doing it. So. Mm. It's got a beautiful mouthfeel. You know, some people go on roller coasters. You know, come on. I mean, you're going to get in a car thing that's, that's on a rail, and you're going to go up this great big hill, and then you're, it's going to take you all around and do all these crazy things, and you're going to have all these, you know, um, ridiculous, scary sensations. And you're going to come off that thing and you're going to go, yeah, that was awesome. Because those same people will not try a hoppy beer because they're scared of it. Well, I'm just the opposite. I love these hoppy beers and I hate roller coasters, but that's just beside the point. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll, uh, I'll be tasting this for you as soon as it's ready. That might be a couple weeks from now. And this English porter that I have concocted with stuff I don't even remember what I put in. And it's lots of fun, and it will be very interesting to see how uh, how that works out. You know, brewing by the seat of your pants, you know, is always fun. If you get something that works, hey, then you you try to remember what you did. You know, that's what you do. That's how I that's how I cook. That's how I do a lot of my stuff. I'm just a I'm just a I don't know. I'm just a guy who likes to make beer and videos and try to entertain you guys as well thank you so much vonlive.tv slash craigtube friday nights eastern standard time be there play good music take skype calls all that stuff and we'll see you guys real soon thank you so much for watching click the bell please okay bye take care thanks